through this whole process, which has been such an honor, and I'm so honored to be here with um, these other amazing, amazing educators, but through this process, it really forced me to reflect kind of on my own um, experiences, and I was thinking about what was the, what kind of experience that I had that had the greatest impact on me um, in my profession, and I keep coming back to the story of my own mom, who was, she was a teacher's aide by title, but uh, an absolutely a teacher, a real teacher in every sense of the word, and I watched her pour her life into the lives of her students from as long as I could remember all the way up until, um, she did it up until about three months before she, her passing, she got ill and passed away about 10 years ago, but she every single day poured into the lives of, of those children and when she finally had to quit, she, she went fighting. She did, not want to, she did not want to leave her students. But when it came time, her, the students from that school got together and they created for her a quilt. And on that quilt, each student, it was about 120 students from that school, each student put their thumbprint on that quilt and signed their name next to the thumbprint. And what it was representing, it was, it was to be a tangible example of the imprint that she had left on their hearts and the imprint that they had left on hers. And um, it was amazing. And I, I remember she would sit there. She had this amazing ability to see the strengths and the greatness in each and every one of her students. And they felt that. And I remember her, the, her last couple months, she had that quilt with her by her bed, and she would rub the fingerprints of the different students. And when she would see an, a particular name, she would start talking about them. And she'd start talking about her dreams and her hopes for them. Um, and she really, really um, inspired me because she really inspired her students to have a belief that they were here on this earth to contribute in a major way and they had a special contribution to make that no one else could. And even after her passing, letter after letter and cards came from students that had had, had her years before still talking about the impact that, that she had on their lives. And it was at that moment I realized, it was in my second year of teaching, I believe, at the time, and it was at that time that I realized, oh my gosh, this is such important work that we do. And it really um, instilled in me the importance of being an educator and being able to impart that gift of belief in our students and the impact that just one teacher can have. And I'm so honored to be here with so many teachers here tonight who clearly have had a huge imprint on the lives of their students. And it's been, it's, it's challenging times right now in education, but it's also so exciting. The last two years have been, I've been teaching for 14 years and the last two years have been the best because of all the amazing things on the horizon for education, the common core that you just spoke about where we're able to put creativity and bring relevancy into the students' lives and increase the rigor. And, and in the last two years, I've been asked to be a part of the full inclusion teaching program where we're combining general education and special education. The students are all coming together and working together and having an imprint on each other's lives. It's been absolutely amazing. And I want to thank my principal, Elizabeth B. Hill, who, um, always pushes me into doing these things <laughs> um, way out of my comfort zone and I appreciate it because she does she does push me constantly out of my comfort zone and I want to thank her for doing that. Um, Dr. Roberts for bringing these amazing programs to Sac City Unified. My co-teacher Janelle Mercado who's taught me so much about how to use these strategies with full inclusion and reach all students. It's been a miraculous year. Um, my husband, who I love, I love you, honey, and my, who's always, again, he's another pushing me out of my comfort zone constantly. Um, my stepkids, Trenton and Sophia, who always give me their input on what a good teacher does and does not do. <laughs> I get that regularly. <laughs> Thanks for your help, guys. <laughs> and my sisters and my best friends who are here, who are all part of the education field, ironically, just want to thank you. And I, I am really looking forward, I think, Education, it's, it's a tough time, but it's an exciting time. We've got some really great things on the horizon. And I look forward to many more years with all of the other fabulous educators in this room continuing to leave an imprint on many students' lives as they leave imprints on ours. Thank you.